What's up everyone? Thanks for joining me again for another week of SQL Fun. Today I want to show you the easiest way to find syntax errors in SQL Server Management Studio. So you're probably aware that when you have a syntax error and you try to execute a query in Management Studio, it gets all angry and shows red text out in the messages uh, window telling you you have an error message and here's the line number. So if it's the first time you're using SSMS, you might get excited because you're saying, oh look, an error number, error line number, this is going to direct me exactly to where my problem is. The issue with that though is that SSMS is really inconsistent with how it decides to give you those error line numbers. For example, in older versions of SSMS, the error line number is relative to the current batch. So if you're running a set of commands in a large file with hundreds of lines, that error line number is going to maybe say 7, but the actual error is on script line 73 because it started, you know, in a batch right before line 73, seven lines before. And see, I'm too lazy to even do the math. So after that, in, I think in version uh, SSMS 2014, uh, it, SSMS just started displaying error line numbers from the start of the file and not relative to the batch. So, I mean, that kind of made it easier, but I'm not using SSMS 2014 most of the time. And then starting in 2016, I think it shows the error line number relative to the batch again. So we've gone back to relative to the batch, but at least SSMS outputs where the batch uh, starts, the line number of that current batch. So, you know, you could do some simple addition there and figure out where your syntactical error is. Uh, but overall, I just, I don't like the inc inconsistency of these errors between different versions. I'm often jumping around be between different SSMS versions, uh, although I, I always try to use the latest one, it's not possible in every environment, and so, you know, constantly getting different error line numbers uh, in my SQL queries is really annoying. And so the way to get around that is to not look at the error line number at all. And what I mean by that is just simply double click the error message and it'll take you to the line that has the error. Now you might be saying, Bert, that's common sense. I knew about that forever. Why, why make a whole video about this? The reason I'm making a whole video about it is that, at least for me, it wasn't common sense. It wasn't intuitive when I saw it, right? It's not like a, a grid result where that error message is like in Visual Studio or something where you think maybe, oh, I can click this and it'll take me to it. I didn't know that you can click that text output and be taken to the error, uh, to the line number where your error exists. I don't think I figured that out until I saw someone do it at like SQL Pass, you know, in a demo or something, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can click the error line number and it'll take me directly to it instead of having to count it out. So I know this isn't like a groundbreaking video for those of you who maybe knew about that, but for those who don't, who, for those of you who were like me at one point who didn't know you can double click that, now you know, and now this is a, a way easier way, a less frustrating way of finding errors in SQL Server Management Studio. But thanks again for tuning in this week. Hopefully next week I'll be at SQL Saturday Cleveland and I'm hoping to do some filming there. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but until next time, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you then. Thanks.